Hello friends! In this video, we'll learn how to build a powerful CRM to manage your business effectively and save time using Perfect CRM. This CRM is perfect for freelancers, digital marketing agencies, web design agencies, legal firms, IT and software development companies, construction companies, real estate professionals, healthcare providers, event management companies, consultants, and many more. Perfect CRM comes with a beautiful and elegant dashboard. You'll have a powerful admin panel to manage your business. You can oversee your customers, payments, expenses, contracts, projects, tasks, leads, estimates, knowledge base, and much more. To create your own CRM, we'll need the Perfect's a powerful open source CRM PHP script, which costs a one-time payment of 65 with lifetime updates. You can read a detailed description of Perfect's CRM here. After purchasing the script, you'll receive a zip file like this. Check out the link in the description to get it for free. Next, we'll need web hosting to deploy the script and run the website. Web hosting is essential for building any kind of website. Visit loveandwp.com forward slash hostinger to get affordable hosting and a free domain. Hostinger is one of the most popular hosting providers, offering a beginner-friendly custom control panel and excellent customer support. Choose your preferred hosting plan to launch your website. You can check all the features you will get with each plan. I recommend the business plan, but if you need more dedicated resources, you can opt for their VPS or cloud hosting plan. Once you've purchased hosting, log in to your control panel. You'll find a beautifully designed and easy to navigate control panel, perfect for beginners or non-techies. Now we'll upload the script zip file to the file manager and install the script. Go to the file manager and upload the script zip file into your public underscore HTML folder. After uploading, extract the zip file and move all the extracted files to the public underscore HTML folder. Now, type your domain name into the browser address bar and hit enter to start the installation process. Follow along with me. Next, we need to input the database information to continue the installation. Go back to the hosting or control panel, navigate to the database section and click on management. Enter your database name, username and password then click Create to set up a new database. Copy and paste the database information into their respective fields as we continue. Now, create an admin account by entering your first name, last name, username, email, and password. Now remove the install folder from the file manager to prevent duplicate installations. Now log into admin panel using your login details. Welcome to our powerful admin panel. Here, you can manage customers, clients, staff, payments, and everything related to our website. Click on Customers. Here, you can manage all customers. Let's create a new customer. Now, create contacts for this customer so they can log in and access the client portal. Under Proposals, you can create a new proposal and send it to the customer.
You can also manage estimates, invoices, payments, and more. In the Expenses section, you can record all your expenses by category, date, and other details. Under Contracts, you can manage all contracts. In the Projects section, you can manage all projects. Let's create a new project for a client. You can view the project overview in a beautiful layout, including build hours, logged hours, expenses, tasks, charts, invoices, and more. Under Tasks, you can manage all tasks. Let's create a new task for our newly created project. You can also add checklist items for each task. In Support Tickets, you can reply to or assign assistance to support tickets generated by customers. In the Leads section, you can manage all leads. Let's create a new lead. The Knowledge Base allows you to create articles about your products to educate your clients and staff. Under Utilities, you can manage media, calendars, and more. In Reports, you can view all reports with filter options by date and category. Go to Setup, and from Staff, you can manage all your staff members. Let's add a new staff member. In the Permissions section, you can change user roles and limit their capabilities by simply checking or unchecking the appropriate boxes. You can also group your customers into different categories. In Support, you can manage and create departments, predefined replies, and much more. In the Leads section, you can manage lead sources. You can also create web forms to collect leads from your website. Let's create a new lead form. You can build a beautiful lead form using the drag and drop editor.
Once the form is ready, you can add the generated code to your website to display the lead form or share the direct link with your clients. Under Finance, you can manage currencies, payment methods, and expense categories. You can also manage contract types. Here you can manage all the modules available in Perfect CRM. In the Email Templates section, you can manage and edit all email templates. On the right, you'll see all the available variables you can use in your email templates. These return dynamic values. You can create custom fields to tailor the CRM to your needs. In the Roles section, you can manage all roles. Let's create a new role with the capabilities to only create and edit the knowledge base. Go to the Settings section. Under General, you can change your website logo, favicon, and company name. Add your company information here you will be displayed on invoices, estimates, and payment forms for your clients. In localization, you can change the time format, time zone, and default language. Under email, you need to configure your stamp details to ensure the email function works perfectly. You can also add header and footer templates for your emails here. In Finance, you can adjust settings for general finance, invoices, estimates, and proposals. Under Payment Gateways, you can set up all your payment gateways by submitting the required information. In Customers, you can enable or disable settings for customers and make any necessary changes. In the SMS section, you can set up Twilio to send SMS notifications to your customers and staff. Be sure to carefully review all the menu options and make the necessary changes. This is our client portal. It's simple and looks beautiful. Here, clients can see a summary of all their projects by status. They will receive invoice information categorized by status, such as paid, unpaid, overdue, etc. In the knowledge base, clients can read articles. Under projects, clients can see their project summaries and recent projects. On the project detail page, they can view an overview of the project. In Tasks, they can see all the tasks within the project and even add new tasks. In Timesheets, clients can track how much time the assigned members have spent on each task. From the Gantt chart, clients can visualize their project in a beautiful way. In Tickets, clients can create support tickets for the admin. Under Invoices, they can track all invoices by status, such as paid, unpaid, overdue, etc. In Estimates, clients can view, accept, or decline estimates sent by the admin.
clients must provide a signature to accept the estimate. In the Proposals section, clients can track all proposals. Clients can also update their profile information, password, and company profile. This is the staff dashboard. In projects, staff can manage the projects assigned to them. Staff can see all the tasks in the project, start the timer, and work on the tasks. The timer automatically calculates time and price by the hour and registers billing hours automatically. In timesheets, staff can track their working hours and timer status. From the Gantt chart, staff can visualize the project in a beautiful way. Staff can also create support tickets. Staff can manage their calendar and track their task deadlines. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.